Today is Saturday stamping tips, techniques, and more. Um, and I'm going to be doing shaker cards. And I'm first going to show you one I did. Uh, so today we're going to be doing one style of shaker card, and that is the ones where you have pre-existing domes. So here, for example, is the jar dome. That's these are all stamping up, and this one is the. Um, it's just called snow globe shaker dome so i did this one using the still scenes stamp set and the die here and this die here and this die here and i made it very easy and i also used um winter snow embossing folder which is new august 4th these are in the annual catalog right now. They're a carryover from last year. So if you want to be able to make the snow domes, uh, you can. And um, there's another stamp coming out in the new mini that goes with this too. I got mine a little bit crooked and I didn't quite put in as many snowflake sequins as I wanted because I thought I had another pack of them, but I can't find them. Anyway, um, so basically what i did here is i used seaside spray paper and whisper white paper which is what i ran through the winter snow embossing folder very pretty embossing folder by the way and then this is a piece of the feels like frost designer series paper which is coming back from last year gorgeous paper and um, there's all different kinds of scenes. I'm trying to find the one I, I used, which of course I'm not going to be able to because, you know, I didn't get it out in, ahead of time. And if that's assuming I have more of that one left. I'm pretty sure I do. But these are the gorgeous papers. One side is like scenes and the other side is... Um, silver foil designs so here is the one I used and the other side of it has that on it and um, you know there's just lots of different silver foil designs too that you can use so anyway what I did then is I used this die to cut the shape out of that designer paper where I wanted it okay and then um, I'm going to show you how to adhere the domes only with the jar when we get to that. It, it actually adheres to the back of the paper. So I'm going to show you something not to do because I was originally going to use this paper. Um, and I don't know if I, yeah, here. With this scene. Okay. But what I did is, when I adhered my dome, I adhered it to the wrong side. So now I have this piece with a dome on it, and I don't really like that for a dome, but I'll figure out something to use it with. I mean, I could still go like that, but not quite the same effect, right? So make sure these are sticky. Let me show you on this. They're sticky on the back and they're sticky on the front so when you're adhering it to your paper you're popping it through because that's where the dome's going to be right so you're only removing the front sticky initially and you're popping it through the seam and then before you put it down onto the back you have to put whatever you want in the scenery now i could have just left it plain white snowflakes but i wanted to use the piece that was cut out and put it back in so I before I put this back down I put little pencil marks with this paper laying on top where the piece that cut out was supposed to go and then I glued that down onto the white before I put the snow globe on and I must have gotten it just a tiny bit uneven because it's a little crooked and then I put the piece down. I took the sticky off and I put glue on the back of this and this and glued it onto the other paper. And then I put uh, die cut these and put this down. The background is done in seaside spray. And this is the brand new available August 4th um, balmy blue. I want to see if it's called glimmer paper or glitter paper. 
I believe it's called glimmer paper. Here it is. Um, yeah, balmy blue glimmer paper. It's gorgeous. It looks so silvery there, but it's really, it's blue. You can maybe see better on there that it's blue. Yeah. And it cut out really well. I did go back and forth a couple times in the die cut machine, and then the, all the little pieces popped out pretty well. I did have to take for these little triangles on the bottom and up the top uh, the pointy end of my take your pick tool. And then um, the season's greetings came out of the stamp set. So this is one method and that's the method I'm going to show you how to do today. Now before we get started with that, I do want to show you because somebody asked me this question, does this dome, this, uh, what do they call this, the jar, this called the mason jar shaker domes, do they work with the jar of love or whatever? Um, no, they work with the jar of flowers, which is in the annual catalog, I'm sorry, and in August 4th in the mini catalog, the lots to celebrate also coordinates with it and that's what we're going to be using today i think i've already done a card or two with this one um i think with this flower i can't remember beautiful set they're both photopolymer they're both uh, two-step and i will be right back um, i want to show you the difference between this i still have my old set it's probably going to go bye bye as of tomorrow but i still have the jar of love and there was another one that went with it so let me get that and i'll be right back all right everyone so to compare this is the snow globe dome that we have now that goes with the lots to celebrate and the jar of flowers okay and these were the retired these are the retired sets that i know of jar of love and jar of cheer so the jar of love these look smaller here but when you uh, look at them in, in root they're actually 75% um, uh, on the image on the front of what they are so these are bigger than the front and here's the dies that go with them which were called I don't know everyday jars framelits dies that are retired so if you look at the snow globe dome i mean the jar dome sorry these dies this one's much taller and wider this one is wider and a little bit short um, shorter and this one is definitely it's wider this way and definitely way short so the dome won't work with that now there's this one die in here that goes with this jar of cheer these are at 80% image, so I don't know if this is really telling you good either. No, see here is the, um, it looks like it fits from the picture, but the stamped image is bigger than the new snow globe domes. So they don't really work together. That's why they had dies to go with it. Um, the domes don't work. So if you wanted to make a shaker and you have these old sets, I would use the acetate method. You know, die cut them a few times. Um, and I think this you can die cut out the middle like this, right? Die cut the jar a few times around the edges. I don't have it even, but um, and then you could put your shaker stuff in the middle with acetate in between them and i'll show you that method not with this set but i'll show you that method uh, another week um, maybe in a couple weeks so anyway i just wanted to show you the difference um, these are the old sets because someone asked me that question and they're no longer available and then these are the new sets um, this one's available now and this one is available starting August 4th but the domes the mason jar shaker domes are available now too we're going to be using the new stamp set and I already started a card but I didn't comp uh, compile it because I don't want this to be a real long video I pulled out 
some Just Jade. And this is a piece of paper out of the brand new, starting August 4th, excuse me, um, Snowflake Splendor. Gorgeous papers in here. This has Pacific Point, Pool Party, Just Jade. I almost used this, this, but I thought the little design for in the jar would be good. And then I had another change of heart because I thought, well, then I'm not doing really any stamping. So um, what I did was I stamped on a piece of Whisper White cardstock. I used Smoky Slate. Um, I used this jar stamp, which again is at 95%. So you can see the jar is actually a little bigger than the image here. And then there's these snowflakes here. So I stamped them in Pacific Point and Just Jade. And then I only inked this big one up on the end and not the other ones to get that one snowflake in the middle because I had a, a blank spot. So I hope that made sense. Um, one little tip for you on these, the jar is like boingy. So you want to put it down on your mat, just loosely lay it down and it'll straighten out itself and then put your block to it to pick it up because otherwise you get like, you know, not maybe that drastic, but you get bends in your, in your stamp. You don't want it to have the bends. <laughs> anyway, you know what I mean. So there is my jar and I think what we'll do, we are going to punch this paper out and inlay this. Um, and then put this over it like this and we'll put some sequins and stuff in. So the first thing I need to do, and I figured, I'm not sure I like this, I stamped Seasons Greetings and Just Jade, but I think I want to, maybe I'll just flip it over and use the Pacific Point. So we'll see when we come to that. But let's work on this first. So let me move these out of the way. We're going to die cut or punch out the jar from the bottom right corner here on our designer paper and I have to say well I'm still learning you know shaker cards too so go easy on me if you do it differently let me know if there's some other tips and I'm going to save that because that's really pretty I might change my mind oh you know what you could do you could just well, flip over sometimes they don't exactly yeah you could do that and just have the reverse right and have it like that hmm another time <laughs> so now what we're gonna do we're gonna peel off the top layer only remember I was saying there's an adhesive on the bottom and the top we're just gonna take off the top and I'm gonna lay that down on my table I apologize for the glare and any noise in the background and then you're gonna put your paper where you punched over it and try to get it on there as best you can okay now we're going to bring over our card base um actually i should have done something before i did this you see what i messed up is i didn't put my pencil marks in like i did on the last one so we're going to have to kind of guesstimate here which i don't like doing all right, guys, I think I have a different solution. We're going to go ahead and we're going to actually use, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to use a little bit of static uh, embossing buddy or whatever you have. We're going to use the flowers for every season, a few of these gems, because they're just jade and clear. And then we're also going to use some of the snowflake sequins. I think that'll be pretty with it mixed in I have to order more snowflake sequins I really thought I had another one but I don't know what happened to them hope I didn't put them in my retired box <laughs> if I did they have to come back out because I need them All right they're sticking to me too I have three of them sticking to me there we go now here's the thing I cut this out of white right and I I'm going to just lay this on here. If I had a piece of tape, I would tape it. Okay, so here was my fix. I put the little piece in the opening and I pulled off the backing 
of the um, dome and I put scotch tape regular you know whatever brand clear tape you have and now we're just gonna glue this down uh, all around and I don't know if that'll weaken it or not but I don't think so now we're just gonna glue that onto our card front in the position that we want it to be in there's our shaker and now we have to do our sentiment and I think I am going to just isn't that cute we could just put another jar there now <laughs> I am going to restamp season's greetings in Pacific Point a little bit brighter but I think I'm going to use pool party first and do um, the snowflakes. Oh, and I was going to shoot. See, I was going to put this down, but I think I won't bother. Or maybe if I go like that, I'll do that. But um, okay, so let me get the seal plus. Just put a little dab up here. Maybe. And I'm gonna just split it out a little bit like that and tack that down. There we go. And I'm not gonna worry about it sticking up a little bit because there's my now where's my piece I was going to stamp on? I'll be back again. Alright, we're just going to stamp it again and punch it again. So we're doing Season's Greetings, which is from the Lots to Celebrate stamp set. And we're going to stamp it down here. That is in Pacific Point. And then we're going to use Pool Party. And I may stamp off a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to actually because I think it's light enough. Yeah. And then we'll do this. And I think that'll be enough. And then we're going to get the jar punch. I'm sorry, not the jar punch. The rectangle stamp punch. And just line it up in there. Try and make sure it's straightish. And that's what we're going to put over here. And we're going to bump that up on dimensionals, which I am going through like mad. I don't know if you guys use them like crazy, but I seem to go through them like crazy for sure. Okay. So this ribbon just gives it its pool party and, um, that actually is in the annual catalog. It's part of the Whale of a Time or Whale Done Suite. I forget which how it's called. So this is kind of the inverse of what's on the paper, which has the background with white um, snowflakes, and then this is white with pool party snowflakes and the Pacific Point. And then same here, it's stamped in Pool Party and Pacific Point down there. And that is the front of the card. And then we need an inside. So, let's see, I think we'll just put some snowflakes on. And let me put these away. And we'll do that in Pool Party. Or we can maybe, ooh, you know what we could do? We could just go like this. That would be cute or put it over here is there another sentiment on here for 
not really for Christmas. Your best wishes, but mm, no. Now there is a lid. If you're just going to stamp, there's a lid and like a little skirt thing, which is really cute. And I'll use that again, just stamping. I'm not sure I really want to do that because it looks too big to me. So I think I'm just going to get those two ink pads open again and just go down, stamp off like, and go like this, and then this, and then this, and then we'll turn it again and do this. And then this. I don't even think I'm going to put any um, Pacific Point on. I think I like it just like that. And we'll just put that in the Just Jade card base. There we go. Like that. And got a little ink on there, but I am not going to fret over it. <laughs> Oh, goodness me. Took us a little while to get to this one. So this is, that's pretty much how you do it though. Um, I have to review the video and see. If I like it, I might make another one just to make sure you guys understood that. And I may be on the next one, we'll put an actual lid on there. You can do just die cut shapes or you can do whole card shakers and we'll do those another week um but i think that's all i'm going to do for this week i think that's cute season's greetings and then just snowflakes inside with a little extra dot of pool party <laughs> all right everyone have a great evening have a great rest of your weekend um yeah and i'll talk to you the next time and stay safe out there bye for now everyone